Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Inc. and MKZ. Uh, and if you need to test oxygen sensor heater, guys, tell this will explain how to do that. It's very simple. You will not even get your hands dirty, guys. And it will take you only a few minutes. Why we mention all these three cars? Simply due to the fact that they share the same platform, same drivetrain, same engines. So it will work on all of these models today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So let's go ahead and explain how to do that now. I'm just going to open the hood guys. You have two oxygen sensors. One is on is upstream, one is downstream. This is specifically the hybrid engine that's been used in all these three cars. But if you have the non-hybrid procedure is exactly the same guys. Now, uh, let's just talk about that for a second. Upstream oxygen sensor is the one before the catalytic converter. Also, it's known as O2 sensor bank one sensor one. The purpose of that sensor is to detect how much air and fuel you still have in the exhaust. So the engine computer can uh, know what's happening so if it needs to add extra fuel or air or adjust things uh, it will do that so we have nice clean efficient running engine the second oxygen sensor is known as downstream oxygen sensor or O2 sensor bank one sensor 2 the purpose of it is to detect if the catalytic converter is doing its job so let's go ahead and explain how to test the heaters now it's pretty simple guys you need to open your Ford C-Max Fusion Lincoln MKZ whatever it is you need to guys go ahead and find okay the OBD port which in our case is located under that cover yours maybe under the dash okay and let me just go inside for a second quick uh, that's the two that we'll be using I'll put the link in the description of the video below so you get the right one uh, this guys is amazing it's so inexpensive for what it can do you can access every computer in your car, read the lead code, see live data, do programming guys, actuation tests, it's practically almost like dual level equipment guys in your pocket. All you have to do, connect it, you can see you have green light on. Now, we'll go ahead, turn the ignition switch on, okay, without starting the car, okay, so uh, next, I will need to uh, go ahead, okay, we'll need to get the phone that it's connected to, okay perfect this is the app that it it uses uh, that scanner think car we'll go to check it out here now all system diagnostics it's going to decode the vin number it will take just a little bit of time and tell us exactly which vehicle we have so once it confirms that it will go ahead and scan all the uh, systems that are in this fort and there are quite a few guys probably we have up to 50 computers 2013 Ford C Max. You can see it says software has started. Turn the switch to on position. It's already on. We confirm. We're just waiting for it to load. It will take a short time. And you will see how easy it is to do that. Perfect. We go to system selection right here. Under system selection. We're going to go watch all the different computers that you have. That's just unbelievable, right? Okay, we'll go to uh, PCM, Power Train Control Module, right there, PCM. Let's select that one. All right, it's communicating now. So we need to go ahead and uh, go through here and we're going to do actuation tests check this thing out how easy it is it's loading all the tests that you can do in that specific thing you have special functions underneath as well uh, sometimes it could be under that one and here we're going to go to uh, check this thing out to okay heater control unit for sensor one sensor two guys so uh, let's go ahead, okay, and we can select, uh, this is upstream oxygen sensor, this is downstream, so uh, what you can do, just click this one, it's going to load, here you can do the data stream, okay, we can go to oxygen sensor, 
okay heater control right here that will be in our case heater control bank one sensor one then we need to go to uh, let me just select a few of those perfect and this is for bank one right okay like that those are the parameters now you can see everything's off the ignition switch is still on so if i circulate the on button now if i click it uh, you will see oh i need to go back actually i need to add okay the voltage i forgot to add the voltage one second okay under the data stream we need to add the voltage for the oxygen sensor so let's see exactly where that one was okay almost passed it okay right here okay hope that's actually for bank two uh, bank one sensor two so let me see where exactly it was oh that was the correct one because okay right here uh, warm up ready to operate we can do so many things perfect so that's bank one and you can check the ohms as well so it's going to load a whole parameter check it out and all i have to do now the oxygen sensor heater is off i can activate it i'll turn it to on we're at four volts okay and now check it out how it's dropping that's warming up no error okay heater fault no error heater on you can see and it's just warming up now guys it's warming up 0.37 warm and ready to operate yes if i deactivate it now i click to off status check it out now that it says warm and ready to operate now it's going to get cold in a little bit and it will say no oh right there so that heater is working correctly so the oxygen sensor the heating element is perfect that will be the number one thing that will go bad in oxygen sensors hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time